れは何か見つけたのえちょっと D! There's some kind of mechanism. But let's look at this first. What's here? There's all sorts of things here. Some drawings. Cute. Hopefully we can correct this, then we can go through the door on the other side. Let's see. Scales. Oh god, creepy. The sun. Some coins sit on a scale. Wait, this is also a part of the puzzle. I, I think. D. Okay, D, what did have you found? Do you remember what? No, but I feel like it was something important. I think I see some light coming from it. Let's check it out. Might be something behind it. Okay, first things first. Let's start at the top. What's this? What's this metal aid? Nothing more? I'm curious about this light. Is there something behind the fireplace? She can't move it. Pressing on it won't open it. Oh. Huh. So I guess we do have something. We have to do something with this huh? hmm. mm. I'm curious about the fireplace yes me too but there's nothing huh? there's a brass scale on the desk this scale sure is fancy yeah, yeah. there's something on the plate huh? looks like some coins Edward company coins he had special coins? Got half moon coin. Got crescent moon coin. Full moon coin. Waning gibbous moon coin. New moon coin. Oh. What a weird scale. Moon pedestal. Coin. Take a look at the scale. There's something on the pedestal. Huh? Oh yeah, are these moons? Uh, Looks like there are five total. Huh? Must mean something, right? Ah, uh, sure. Okay, they're saying the same thing. It's a plate with a moon on it. So, do we have to get it straight? This one looks like a sun. Um. What if I put one coin in there? The crescent moon coin will... Hmm. What if I... Are they all the same weight? No, they're not. Okay. What about the new moon? Whoa! Okay. The new moon coin tells it like this. So what about if I if I halve it? Wow! It's even heavier. What the? Okay. Uh, what about... I got the full moon. What about the waning gibbous moon? Oh. This should be... Mm, almost. The Libra sign is straight? The symbol just moved. 
Looks like it needs to be weighed down with something. Trying something else to see what a different weight does. I already did. It's straight. I should take this coin with me. Hmm. Wait, wait, I want to... I want to try out the last coin. <laughs> okay, almost nothing. Okay, I can only put one coin. What does this... what are those? Okay, so I... No, 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 wait. She's not taking... She's taking the coin back when I leave the scene. So... But there's nothing else I can... What? There's nothing else to see here. Except for the scattered books. And the love seed. The sofa's leather is all scratched up. It's been a long time since everyone's taken care of it. Sure, sure. Okay, are there any hints or something? Let's try this out again. Straight, right? I don't get it. supposed to do here no it's on the other side Was it always the no it did it was always like this. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we have to get a clue first before it works. She's taking the coin again. Maybe there's something on the back side? Nope. 
There must be something with the fireplace, but I can't really see anything out of order. Except for the metal plates, but what am I supposed to do with them? She's not doing anything. Pressing it won't open. And... Are there differences in the metal plates? No. Can I use... Can I use the coins? I don't have anything to use. I can investigate the coins. Hmm. Are they all the same? They are. Or maybe they're not. I mean... Maybe one is different. I don't think so. Um, from a full moon to a moon. The moon is changing. Oh, wait. Maybe. Maybe I have to do a, the right order. Let's go from the new moon. To the this is the waning moon, full moon, half moon, to the crescent moon. And then uh, the half moon. We just take the water that's down there. Then the waning moon. And then the full moon. That did not work. Mm. What if we go the other way around? Or we have to go by weight. Okay, let me first go the other way around. Oh no. <laughs> My controller fell down. Uh, half moon. So the half moon is the heaviest. I think. And that one is the lightest. So half moon, new moon, with this round it's not working. So it's half moon is the, the heaviest, then new moon, then this one is the lightest. What about those two? Second lightest. 
and then okay let's do it again we go by uh, what was it again the lightest warp was this and then And then the full moon. And then uh, the waning moon. And then The new moon? Was it the new moon or the half moon? New moon? What am I doing? I don't think that will work. Okay. This is not working. I don't know. Five toad. It must mean something, right? Yes, but I don't know what. I mean... tried everything. Come on. <sighs> Can I use oh. this? <laughs> oh, what the heck? I haven't found the another key yet. I should keep looking around this room. Mm. Scribbles. Huh? What's this picture? Looks like it's been burnt. Burnt? Now remember, this picture was drawn with invisible ink. What? Wow, really? Here, yeah, you gotta know the trick to see it. And in this case, the ink becomes visible when exposed to heat. Huh? That sounds like so much fun. Newspaper. Huh? This newspaper is so old, I wonder when it's from. It should say on top, huh? right? Seems super dusty. Probably shouldn't mess with it. So this must have had invisible ink in it. Oh! There's the scales. What could this be? Can you solve this D? From Franny. Did you find something? It says, can you solve this D? Me? Yeah, let's... Let's... Uh, let D take over. There's a picture drawn on it. Is that part of the puzzle? Do you think this picture means something? But for Ronnie's challenge. Let's light this up. And then hold her picture over. Could this be? Of course. Use the candle flame to make the hidden writing on Franny's challenge appear. Use motion controls to move the paper by tilting the... Oh no, please. 
If you lose sight of the candle while revealing the hidden text, try looking at the candle symbol on the screen while moving the paper. Reset the position of the paper with X. Oh god, I hate this. Nice. Okay. Phew, that worked. Not like with the stool and the key. The fire revealed the picture. How awesome. But what's the symbol? I know that symbol. This picture must mean something. Oh man. And I, I tried doing everything. When the solution was this simple. Uh, wait, let me see again. And uh, investigate. So, like this, like this, like this. So, I have to put the heaviest first, which was the half moon coin. No, that was wrong. So, it first has to go like this. Um one of the one of the lightest lighter ones was it this one that's too light <laughs> I forgot already one second outside and I already forget how heavy those are. Okay, this one is the middle one. And then we have... We have... We have... We have... This one is too heavy. So the waning is the last one and too light. This one. Full. And then... Um... This one. Full. New. And... And the waning one. Huh? <gasps> Why didn't it work? Or maybe I have to go back here again yes. and take a closer look and then see. Oh, okay, that's friend's puzzle. Puzzle. Is it what the picture in front of this puzzle is? Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Um. Full moon. New moon. And waning. Yes. Hidden room. Hello. Finally, I was stuck here for a long time.
Okay, where's the where's where's the key? Hidden, hidden room. Let's get the origami out of the way first. Changing my mood scanned. Creating something new is no simple task. This is true of anything, including another. When research isn't proceeding as I hope, I pick up a book to take my mind off, off things. Fortunately for me, Dimension Study contains countless books from impenetrable hardback volumes to light and breezy paperback reads. I grab a random book from the dusty old shelves and head into the forest, while I flip through the pages of an old novel in the sunlight dappled through the branches of a tree. It's during these moments I can forget about the research that vexes me and recharge my mind. And it's these moments where I'm at my most peaceful. Most recently, I've been blazing through a detective novel by an author named David Shields. His style of prose and story development are my tastes exactly. After, re after my reading session, I stroll over to the pier to take in the sides of the water from the cliff. When I look out at the horizon, I think back to the living room of our house in Seattle. To happier days with Sayoko and Ashley. They said I can never have back. Anyway, perhaps I make a stool and place it under the tree on the cliff. And in doing so, I can imagine him sitting with them at home. Aww, but... If the origami is in this room, that means the father was in this room. Doesn't it? Kinda suspicious. It's too dark to see anything. That light... It's light... Lighted up. A bag. Oh, it has a coat on it. This is my father's briefcase. It belonged to Thomas. Can you open it? No, it's locked. I wonder what the combination could be. Please remember. How would I know? There should be something. I wonder what the numbers to unlock it are. Maybe there's a hint somewhere. If it's in the same room, that's kind of dumb. What's this bag? That's my bag. Father gave it to me. I have had I've had it with me when I came to the island. Open it for me. This is a small hat. This is your hat, D. Oh yeah, that was my favorite. What? What? It's so small. It's totally vintage. I love it. It wasn't vintage when I was wearing it. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear. Looks like a letter. Wonder what it says. Dear D, it's November 28th, 1948. Happy 12th birthday. You're the first friend I made on this island. I'm so happy I get to celebrate your birthday. I hope we get to keep having lots of fun to together from Franny. Aww, cute. Yes, that's what it says. バースデーカードだ。うん。でもこのカードが書かれた日が僕の誕生日なんだね。よかったね、リー。誕生日分かって。うん。28。Wait, that could be the password actually. Baseball. This ball looks super old. What's this yours? Yeah, I love baseball. <laughs> Father and I played catch a lot. So that's one clue about the code. It's too dark to see anything. And then we'll just leave the candles up and leave the place. Burning everything down. I wonder what's in these wooden crates. The lids won't open, so I guess I never know. Corpses. Well, corpses would smell. I guess it's not. 
Sturdy wooden crates are stacked up. The lids are too heavy to open, so their contents will remain a mystery. Okay, so... The key has to be inside here. So it's November 28th, 1948. Wait, wait, wait. It's, it's it says 12th birthday, so his date of birth is minus 12, so 1936. Uh, uh, so November are they doing month first or are they doing twenty six twenty eight was it twenty eight or twenty six <laughs> why can't I remember yes oh it's open nice oh I thought it will open at the same time Nice. Yeah, that was easy. Awesome, the briefcase locked us open. My birthday was the key. <laughs> Your dad must have really cared for you, Dee. Or it's just easy to remember. <laughs> yeah. Let's open mm. it up. Go for it. There is the key. A shoe. Oh, <gasps> Scanning. You. Nice. Just one more. And what kind of feature do I get? So it's on the first floor, we have to go downstairs. I mean, Bill just lets us collect these, and then he can steal the DAS. <laughs> that would be that would that, that's something I would have done. Like, let them find everything, collect everything in one place, and then I'll take it. <laughs> a pen, a book, a note. A shoe? There's an old shoe. This is a child's shoe. That's your shoe? <laughs> That's my shoe. Why is there only one? I don't know. Picture. There's an old photo of a young couple with a baby. I mean, I guess Thomas, his wife, and Dee. That man is father. Really? Then does that mean a woman is your mom? It must, right? Then the baby must be. It's me. I can't take it? Hmm. Notebook. There's an old notebook. What do you think is written in it? Read it. A journal? I penned the mystery novel on the uh, pseudonym, but it, still did, but it still didn't sell. First my child loses his mother, and now I can't provide him with so much as a pair of shoes. I never should have left the mansion. Maybe then I would be able to provide him a better life. What else can I do? I have no other avenues for earning money. All I can do now is go to my brother. There's some heavy stuff written in here. Hmm. Fountain pen? Well, he could afford shoes later. It seems like. This pen looks well used. The ink's all dried up. The pen. Father cherished it. So it belonged to him. Of course, everything in here belonged to him. A stack of papers. There's a stack of papers. What is this? There's a lot of. Uh, there's a lot written on it. 
Scarlet Labyrinth by David Shields. Oh, is that his pseudonym? Um, Before long, he emerged from the room, not bothering to tidy it up. With a neutral expression and a nonchalant tone, he told the maid, Monica, the lady of the house is very tired. She wishes to not be disturbed for the rest of the day. Monica accepted his words and cleared the table of the meal she had brought out. Everything was going according to plan, so far. He caught an unconscious smirk upon his face and quickly swapped it for a stiff look. He retrieved the black pouch he had hidden under the bed. It looks like a novel manuscript written by David Shields. David Shields? That name's somehow familiar. Well, your dad used it. That's it. Anazaki. We know where it is. <laughs> okay, I uh, will stop the episode here, and then we find we'll find the other key in the next episode. See you then. Bye bye.